Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Utility Sports. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Easter Sunday today. Happy Easter to all of you out there celebrating today. Uh, and wow, do we have some breaking news here in the NBA as well. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to remind each and every one of you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Post a lot of different content, NBA mock drafts, NBA content coverage. Uh, we'll have a lot of NFL draft stuff coming up here as well as we get closer to those dates this month here in April. But here we start with today's video. Drew Holiday, the Milwaukee guard, has agreed to an extension with the Milwaukee Bucks, according to Sham Sharania, worth up to $160 million on a four-year extension. That is a massive, massive commitment by the Milwaukee Bucks. Is Drew Holiday a $40 million a year player? No, I don't think he is. We saw the same issue with Chris Middleton. The Bucks are in a tough situation because they had to go about trying to improve this roster and give Giannis the best chance at winning they possibly could. Now they have three guys on max extensions under contract for the future. That is Giannis Antetokounmpo, obviously, who signed his super max worth north of $40 million a year. Chris Middleton, who's making around $38 million a year, and now Drew Holiday, who's going to be making $40 million a year on his extension. And this has real ramifications for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're a smaller market team, and they're going to have to be committed to paying in the luxury tax. For those of you who don't know, when you're a repeat offender of luxury tax payments, you have to pay about $3 for every single dollar. So a $20 million into the luxury tax really means you pay an extra $40 million because you're going to end up paying $60 million total dollars for that $20 million contract. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Giannis together are going to make about $125 million together, just the three of those players. It's going to have some issues for their hard cap as well. They might lose players like Dante DiVincenzo, Brooke Lopez. They've really limited their options now at this point, locking into Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton. They don't have draft picks to really flip these guys this is going to be their core. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, those are their three guys. I don't see a team coming in making a move for a Drew Holiday at $40 million. The only way that I could see that is if Milwaukee, uh, for some reason, would take in John Wall to get some draft picks. That's the only thing that I, I could even make sense of at the top of my head. Drew Holiday is going to be a buck for the whole duration of this contract more than likely. Now, is he a good player? Of course he is. He's a very good player, very good defender. He's averaging about 17-5-5 five and five this year. But is he a $40 million player? I'm just not sold about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Drew Holiday getting a four-year $160 million extension with the Milwaukee Bucks. My instant reaction to it is I don't like it in terms of their hard cap picture, their luxury tax picture, and really Bucks management locking themselves into this future lineup of Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, I get it. That's a pretty good roster. Giannis is still young. He's still growing as a player, surprisingly, with how good he already is. But at the end of the day, is that enough in the Eastern Conference to even come out to the NBA Finals? We haven't seen them do that yet. I don't think they're going to do it this year with, Mil uh, with how good Brooklyn is. And this is why I was critical of them trading what they traded for Drew Holiday. Had they made the move for James Harden instead of Drew Holiday, they would be the favorite right now in the East, in my opinion. Instead, they have Drew Holiday. They locked in an extension with him on what is essentially a full max, nearly a super max, about $8 million less annually than what a super max looks like. Holiday was not eligible for that super max, not having been on an all-NBA team or uh, any of those selections. But all in all, a very crazy contract extension here for the Milwaukee Bucks, Andrew Holiday. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like on the video. That would be much appreciated. Again, have a happy Easter Sunday, everyone, and we'll catch you in the very next video.